Hi, and welcome to the Aura Status Tutorial. As you can see here, I have inserted several Aura Status macros into this table. Imagine that each of them is like a select list of different values and properties. So let me demonstrate this. I can now click on a Aura Status macro right from the page view mode, just like this. And now you can see all the values and the properties that are available in this exact Aura status. So let me click, for example, on blocked. And now, as you can see, the value has changed. And in the background, a new version of this page has been created automatically. So this means that you can edit those values right from the view mode without the need to jump into the edit mode. So you can imagine that you can, for example, now click on all of the other values and change them very quickly here, just like that. So now let's see how this works in the page edit mode. And now we will insert a complete new aura status. To do so, Click somewhere on your page, click on the plus, click on view more, and then search for aura status. There you go. Click on this element, click on insert, and now you are in the aura status editor. So you start in the templates tab where you can select templates so you don't need to start from scratch. Just to let you know, those templates are administrated or managed by your Confidence Administrator and they can add more, they can change them. So if you want to um, have other templates in here, please contact your Confidence Administrator. So let's say we start with the first one here. I'm just clicking on that. And now you can see um, the configuration side of the Aura Status macro. We can see all the different values in this case. We are able to um, sort them via drag and drop, just like that. You can se select which one is currently active. So this is what you saw, what we did from the, uh, the page view mode, but you can also change that here in the edit mode. Then you can set up a label. You can set up the color, the text color, and here is a preview. You can also delete them. There are different sizing options. And if you want, you can also set up if they should all have the same width or if they should have individual widths. And here at, uh, at the add button, you can of course add new values to this select list and uh, like all the others, name them, give them a color, sort them and so on. When you're done, you click save and then your configured or a status macro is ready to use on your page. All right, this is what you need to know to get started with the Aura status macro.